So, uh, hi. First of all, I'd like to welcome you again to Dell. Um, my name is Gavin Cato. I'm responsible for the engineering and the networking team here at Dell, all, all software, all hardware um, in the networking business um, across the entire portfolio. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the journey we've been on, uh, the announcements that have came up, come out earlier this week on OS X. Uh, I want to talk to you about the journey we've been on the last couple of years that's kind of been behind the scenes. And then uh, we have a lot of the engineers and PLM teams that will talk to you uh, more in the specifics of what's going on with our OS and the announcements and where we're going with our ecosystem as a whole. Um, so if you Fast track back a couple of years, um, uh, Dell was uh, uh, essentially working a portfolio that crossed the data center and the campus markets. Um, pretty diverse portfolio, um, but if you looked at the OSs and how we were leveraging that and looking at the convergence that we were seeing in the marketplace, um, we obviously needed some, some additional work on the portfolio to bring that together in a cohesive manner. Um, if you also looked at the technologies and how we were introducing technologies into the marketplace and some of the challenges associated with bringing chipsets into <coughs> the marketplace uh, and the, the market leading innovations that were being introduced into the chipsets, as well as if you looked at the innovations associated with the ecosystem as a whole, um, there was a time lag that was occurring from the time that those technologies were made available to the time that you could introduce them and integrate them into the networking portfolios. Um, so one of the principles that we went after very early on was the ability to accelerate innovations in the marketplace. Um, specifically went after uh, looking at the chipsets, the disaggregation of the software and the hardware, and that's where you saw some of the early announcements with Cumulus, Big Switch, um, and IPI and Pluribus more recently in terms of the announcements of disaggregation of the hardware and software. Um, because we wanted to enable other companies to bring those innovations to the marketplace on top of the Dell hardware. Um, but we also began looking at the software layer, and if you look at that software layer and the tie that we had through the SDKs that were produced by the chipset vendors, and then looking at that and the integration of that into the operating systems themselves, whether or not it was in the campus market or the data center market, um, those presented some complications. Uh, what you saw through OCP, through the SI efforts, was a, a specific effort that was to be able to disaggregate from those chipsets and enable those technologies on the hardware side to come into the software platforms much more easily so that we were able to focus our platform development efforts and focus our application efforts on top of the software. Um, with OS X, we took that a step further. We disaggregated a higher level to uh, essentially abstract away the platform as a whole. So you didn't have to deal with the fan drivers differently uh, across the platforms that you're able to deal with the chipsets, uh, whether it's a high-end chipset for the data center or a low-end chipset for the campus market, that you could focus your efforts above the platform layer on layer two, layer three, or the applications into the DevOps environment on top. Um, and that effort is something that we've been working on now for a couple of years. Uh, you've seen a couple of things that are very public through uh, OCP so far. Um, there are additional efforts that will certainly come to light over the next little bit. But uh, <coughs> we're going to continue working down that, that framework. Um, so the teams today uh, will talk about um, specifically some of those layers. Um, there is a layer in particular that we're very happy about, which is a, a layer that enables uh, uh, publish, subscribe, notify and is a transactional layer that we've simplified the transactional layer there and, uh, and it has the capability of being event driven and, uh, and what we've done is enabling that uh, we can uh, provide interfaces for C, C++, uh, JSON, uh, Python and that scripting capability that you need into the platforms all the way down to if you want to access the chips themselves uh, you can access the chipsets themselves uh, through that transactional layer. Um, and in, in doing so, we actually segregated the teams between that base OS that we were working with, OS X, and the upper layers of the OS. So those teams internally, we actually treat as separate development teams and treat our own internal team as a third-party development effort. Um, and that's enabled us to maintain that differentiation in those layers. Um, by doing that again, the, the expectation is that we can quickly accelerate products in the market. Um, you'll hear a little bit of, and see some demonstrations. Uh, we have looked at things like uh, containers in terms of uh, bringing containers onto the switch and uh, have a demo for you. Um, we've also looked at uh, load balancing on the switch itself and the capabilities of doing rapid development that are outside the norms of what you would see in a networking business. Um, and, and that, again, is where we're focused as a team. Um, so with that, um, I'd like to, if there are any initial questions, 
I, I'm happy to take the initial questions, um, but then I wanted to turn it over to Amit Senyal as well. I know one thing that uh, that we were asked early on in the OS 10 announcements, uh, maybe the level set the stage, is uh, does this change anything with regard to our partnerships that we have right now with Cumulus, Big Switch, IPI, and Pluribus? And the answer is no. Um, we continue to support those. We're very focused on customer choice. Um, we don't pretend that Dell will have all the answers all the time for our customer basis. And so what we want to do is enable that customer to make the choices what environment best fits them. And if they look at and say, hey, we really like the Big Tap solution, they want to deploy with Big Tap, we want to enable that solution. Um, so we're not pretending that we will have all the answers, but we want to provide the disaggregation, provide that customer choice. Um, so it doesn't change, the announcement of OS 10 doesn't change anything that we're doing with regard to that. Um, the other question that came about is, well, does this mean something different for FTOS? And does it mean something different for your campus portfolio right now? Are you ending those? Uh, certainly our goal um, is to bring those together, together on top of OS 10. Um, that will take some time. Uh, we've got the base that's available right now for OS 10. Um, we're looking at the data center portfolio coming out mid this year and then continuing to enhance it from that point. Campus will come on toward the end of the year, maybe early next year. Uh, possibly late next year, depending on the scale and the, the time frame uh, that we want to look at how we grow the data center side of the business. Um, but uh, there's still going to be FTOS support. We're still developing features on FTOS. We're still developing features uh, in the campus market as well and have no plans to change direction. Uh, the support models for Dell uh, across the board are fully supportive of the disaggregation, um, and we can support all, all levels in that disaggregation. Um, across the partnerships on the hardware only basis, looking at the base of OS 10 as well as looking at the full stack that we're going to bring to market on the Dell OS 10 portfolio. Um, so the support model is st still there for Dell. You can still pick up the phone and call Dell specifically, and, uh, and we have no plans right now to end of life. Any of the other portfolios, it's all more kind of moving forward in parallel, but we're happy with the innovations being brought to the market in OS 10 right now. 